What's up guys, welcome back to this week's video. It's gonna be a little bit different this week than what we've been doing, the normal vlogs. We actually have a customer of mine coming by, his name's Michael. He's gonna bring by a bunch of his watches that he has in his collection. He's got a really a lot of really unique stuff, so we're just gonna take a look at some of his stuff, kind of go over it, uh, hear his thoughts, hear my thoughts on it, and then he wants us to take a look at some stuff that we have available here. So we're just gonna be a little bit of a different video, we'll see how it goes about that so my friend was a general manager for Tiffany mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if you know but behind the scenes most jewelry brands have an employee store so how like a whole works, separate store yeah well how it works is like stuff hits stuff hits store right like you know new product releases and then uh, you know three to six months they got to rotate they're always rotating well that stuff usually goes to the employee stores At before, a discount? yeah before it goes into archive meltdown off whatever to they some do with it. outlet, you know, whatever, however it works. Uh, so we got into the employee store and uh, it's bonkers. Like Tiffany's markup is like on some stuff, 2000%. 2000 percent. Like, it's insane. Like, you know, those like bracelets, you know, those bracelets you always buy some girl <laughs> that you want to just make sure you secure the deal with, you know, but they're like in the Tiffany store. It's like $105. Like they're nothing. They're literally nothing. But uh, yeah, we were in there and they had a uh, Patek Philippe in the employee store and it was uh, $14,000. But at the time, I'm just being honest with you, at the time, 14,000 was a lot for me at that time in my life. So I was like, like I can't do that. My buddy's like, bro, you'll never get a chance to buy a paddock at 14,000. Now, now, being honest, it's not a Nautilus or anything like that, but it was it was a smaller, I want to say like 32 millimeter or something. It was a very small petite men's watch. That was like t Tiffany stamped or something? No, no, it was just, it was just straight paddock because uh, Tiffany no. sells paddock watches. Just no one knows that. Like you can't go into a Tiffany and see paddocks. You can go into tif some Tiffany's like New York and see a paddock, like a, a Tiffany with know. paddock movement, but you go, but uh, this was a true paddock. But if you have a good uh, relationship, you can buy paddock through Tiffany. But you have to be at million plus spend at Tiffany. Plus. Yeah. Um, so, but it was just funny. I was like, you know, like you'll never find a paddock that price, you know. Um, but I was like at that time, and just plus it was a small watch, and it wasn't a sport watch, and it was just nothing about it was anything I was interested in. Uh, you'll probably hate this, but I just threw. I just oh, had God. to sit in this AP case <laughs> again. So, but uh, I don't know if you're aware. So Hamilton does uh, like space related watches every two to five years. Um, well, that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, so that's a 3D print that's color printed, so it's not painted. So they're printing it out as color for the surface of Mars. So the whole, so the whole Mars is all correct. Printed it's, like it's, it's not printed. just like a base color and then painted yes, over or something. Yes, correct, correct. So it's just kind of a neat. Again, these are the cheap throwaway. Shit. This is the stuff I forget I own, but I like space a lot. Like I'm fascinated with it, um, and uh, so I, it's the Hamilton. It's always an X something. Like it should say it on the back. Um, like there was an X1 that was their first one because they made the watch for 2001 Space Odyssey. I'm sure, you guys heard of that movie. Mm -hmm. They made the watch that was on his wrist in that movie, and since then they've always done a space watch. Uh, Hamilton did the watch for the movie Martian, um, so there's always a space related watch that they turn out. So it's just kind of a neat piece. It's again, you know, not anything insane. You know, I think that watch is like two thousand dollars. So you know, it's like. It's still cool though. That's actually but printed like that. It and is. Not just painted it is. Over yeah, or yeah. Something. But it's also just cool because you don't really see them that often. You don't. You yeah. know, every Hamilton I see is garbage. It's always like some <laughs> cruise ship watch. Yeah. Um, that should be like a hundred bucks instead. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your day, man? I like your. It was like uh, the labyrinth when I came in. I parked here because I saw your BMW, yeah. and I went in that door, and then there's a sign. There's like you, going you can other. go in that door, but it's more confusing okay. going through the zigzag <laughs> there. I just make it easy. I'm like, go to the other entrance, come straight down the hall. So I came it. out, came out this way, and then I saw your sign, and it was like, turn right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I love this. Uh, this oh, people still see here. that sign, and someone ends up at the back of the building. I'm like, let's turn right here, and then people <laughs> still get lost. <laughs> So this is, um, I think I mentioned to you, this is the Tag Carrera that's serial number 001. Oh, uh, this is the, the and, Vegas yeah, one, Yeah, right? the Vegas one, so. Um, that's actually cool. I've it's pretty neat this. looking. And it just, it like was. I said, out of, out of randomness just happened to get the first one. And I'm sorry, if some of these are dirty and stuff, I apologize. I just wear my stuff and <laughs> throw them back in case. Hey, at least you wear it. I actually have not worn that in two and a half years. I well, need, well. I need to, but yeah. <laughs> but it's, a, it's just a, it's a cool watch. So they do, you know, Las Vegas boutiques always get, uh, Hublot does it sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a Las Vegas AP, if there I remember is. correctly. They yeah. had one last time I was there. They were, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we asked how much they wanted for it. <laughs> they wanted like... 
a hundred and there it is, yeah, eighty thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, yeah. I looked in like dealer shots; it was like seventy. Yeah, <laughs> like this was probably. I think this was eight thousand, which was way more than a Ted Carrera should ever <laughs> sell for. But, mm-hmm. but, uh, uh, and I don't. I think that's the only tag I own. I'm not a big lover. You know what I want? I want a Monaco that's got the shocks on the corners. Do you know what I'm talking about? The shocks. So you know the Monaco is the square one, right? Yeah. They make one that the movement is encapsulated in micro shocks, like. Like, it looks like little car shocks. Um, stupid more expensive than a regular Monaco. I just don't know the reference or anything. That's why I said when you when we, when we shoot a video, man, I hate these guys that just spit out numbers because I don't remember any of it. Rolex is the only one that I can really remember them for because I, after doing it for so long, they just, like, <laughs> click in my head. But anything else, I can't. All right, so this one, uh, well, before I hand it to you, know the strap looks weird and kind of gross because it is from the Apollo 13 spacesuit. So it doesn't... Oh, yeah. this is... So the, this is a Romain Jerome. Um, this is the one that had the crazy MSRP, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that... And that's a real moon rock? Correct. So the face of that watch is actual certified... I was going to bring the box, but again, I didn't want to like... I was like, I'm going to bring so much shit. Like That's <laughs> like, to me, one of the coolest boxes. So the face of that watch is cool. actual moon dust... Uh, and then the metal of that watch is from the Apollo 10 space shuttle. And then the strap is from the space suit. That's really cool. Um, and like I said, like, it's like a binder full of paperwork and stuff. Explaining like the whole history and everything behind it. Now I will admit these things were in a lot better condition when I first got them, but they just (laughs) over time have just like come apart. Yeah. Um, so that also has a pretty cool story too. So Romain Jerome doesn't have a service center in the United States. The only service watches in Switzerland. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wanted, so this came on a rubber strap and I wanted to have this strap. I had this strap. It was brand new in the case. Um, uh, and I wanted it put on and the strap comes with a tool for this. Like you see these little star things Yeah. and I'm just turning it and it, it, I was like, oh, I'm like putting everything I can and I can't, and I'm like, I'm going to break this watch. Like it can't be that tight. So I reached out. And I spoke to someone at Romain Jerome, and they were like, oh, we don't have a service center in the U.S. Like, I was like, all right, like, I'll just ship it to Switzerland. And, you know, that's not a big deal. And they're like, ah, we really don't, like, do that, you know, because we don't sell a lot in the United States. And I was like, okay, well, what do I do? <laughs> and uh, they're like, they had one boutique in Miami. So they were like, can you ship it to the boutique in Miami, and we'll figure it out. And they were like, maybe we'll just interpostal it there. And I was like, okay. So I sent it down there, and then it ended up the CEO of Romain Jerome was in Miami, he took the watch on his private jet back to Switzerland to get it serviced for me. And I have a picture somewhere of him holding it on his jet. Like, I was like, oh, shit, it's my watch. Because <laughs> they were like, sorry, man, like, this is, like, this is the only way we can do it. And I was like, I'm perfect. I don't care. So, and it ended up being that uh, when they built my version, something happened where they over-torqued. And it wasn't, it so just it was, wasn't it was like stri- it was Yeah, so they refixed stripped. everything uh, all for free. Put my strap on. That's cool. Yeah, gave me, I think they gave me a hat, a t-shirt, and some stuff. Uh, this, I know, this is probably trash to you. But I was, um, uh, so this is a Mont Blanc uh, watch. I know again, I don't really love brands. I know I've said it twice already that are attached to other brands. Like you the know, dial's cool though. Yeah. So my birthday, I was in Vegas. I woke up, had a Facebook ad for this as a limited edition watch that was coming out, um, and I was like, oh cool. And I have a really good friend that works at Mont Blanc uh, in Las Vegas, mm-hmm. and I reached out to him and was like, hey man, like, do you have this watch? And he's like, I'm one hour away from being able to rip the embargo tape off the box. He's like, I probably have one in there. And I was like, sign me up. And uh, I think it was, it wasn't bad. It was like two, maybe 3,800, 2,800, something like that. That's a cool looking dial though. But it's just cool. It's, so it's meant I to like look like an iceberg. Too. Yeah, it's meant to look like an iceberg. Uh, and then quick disconnect on the inside too. So it's a lot easier because uh, yeah, you can switch to a black system. one or something. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But again, just that's just a throwaway watch. But that's, it's still cool though. That's the one when you're like walking in New York City and you don't care if they mug you. Sorry, all this trash that I brought. I apologize. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, here I'll just we'll just run up the top of that. Uh, another Romain Jerome. So this is uh, it's called um, Space Invader. It's obviously the game Space Invaders. They have the license. Uh, they're one of the few brands that actually has a license to do a Swiss watch. Like they do a Mario watch, but the Mario watch is like thirty thousand dollars, so that makes Oof. no sense whatsoever. Um, but just a unique piece. It's uh, cool the way the is... light hits it. How it looks like all like the the pixels like yep. light up. Yep. Uh, I think That's that is cool. the second of they did they did this in five collections a super rare one that there's only two pieces this collection which is full color and then there's one then they did t- 
25 pieces of each color. So you can find that watch and all the invaders are red, all of them are green, all of them are blue. Okay, um, and so then, it's like the multicolor. Yeah, so that's the second, I, mean, I think it's only t 10 pieces, maybe five pieces they did in that one. It's like big. It's heavy as <laughs> too to wear. Like a, the clasp yeah. and everything is huge yeah, yeah, on yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything about it's just, <laughs> but uh, again, just kind of a cool watch. And that, inside that circle disc on the back, mm. it contains moon dust. That's why it's part of their moon dust DNA. Uh, so, and then just because I know you hate Hublot, we'll try to get him out of the way. <laughs> so I don't have to look at any anymore. So this is my favorite one, Year of the Tiger. The baby RM. Yep, basically. <laughs> yep. Although Hublot would tell you See, that th there. To me, this doesn't look terrible though. Okay. They it's would... not, like a lot of them are. There's just there's too no, much. No, I got you. Like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This no, actually, I, their this watches actually are just cool like thing. 17 people are trying to make sure they're. Artistic impression is incorporated in a watch. Well, see, this is actually cool. I like this. Uh, so that has kind of an interesting story. Um, so Year of the Tiger was 2021, I think? twenty. Yeah, maybe 2020 or 2021. I saw that watch on the live stream of... what's which, Is it Watch World? What's the big um, convention for watch people? Uh, in uh, Watches. Basil or... Basil. That was Basil. It. Yeah, yeah. So I saw that watch, and it was going to be this like piece. They were doing 250 of them in the world, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Uh, they ended up finding out that those cases took six months to make, not like a month and a half they expected. Mm -hmm. uh, so they didn't, they didn't make as many pieces as they wanted to, and all of them went to the Asian market. Um, and I was at Hublot. And this was in the center case, lights on it, and I was like, hey man, is that like, is that the year of the tiger? And he was like, yeah. So a guy ordered this, uh, it's 40000 he paid double because they weren't going to bring him into the U.S., so he was like, I'll pay you two times MSRP. So he paid 80000 Oh my God. Uh, it arrived, he went to go pick it up with his wife, and his wife said, absolutely not. This is the most hideous watch I've ever seen, mainly because it didn't have this strap on it, the other strap is gold. Um, so oh, I don't, I don't it know was about that. Bright gold. I don't know about it was that. Bright gold. Th that's kind of cool though. It's rubber with like suede on it. Yep, 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 yep. And, I've never uh, seen something like that before. So he was like, uh, his wife was like, absolutely not. So Ublo <laughs> said, we can refund your money, but we can't refund you the other forty you spent. And he was like, we'll give you like a discount on something. And he was like, say la vie. Or like store credit, whatever. Yeah. So it was due back to go out Monday to um, back to Ublo in Japan. Because uh, that's where all these sell. They just sell an Asian market because that's all those people care about is like year tiger, year rabbit, mm -hmm. all that shit. And uh, they, um, I was like, we sell it to me at MSRP. And he's like, if you want it now, he's like, you can. So that's how I got it. And I've only seen personally, I've only seen one of these come up for sale in the U.S. Like, uh, there's two that I've seen online um, ever, and the other they're always like, uh, what was it, Chrono Twenty Four? Yeah. And they're always like somebody European or something like that. So probably some like piece. insane price too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it was like I think Chrono Twenty Four was like, one was one hundred eight thousand and the other one was sixty nine thousand. So, but just a cool, you know. I mean, again, like I was saying to you, Ublo would tell you that their uh, what is the Spirit of Big Bang is, came out before Richard Mill, but that's a whole other argument. You know, every, is, everyone I see it always either thinks uh, it's a Richard Mill or yeah, yeah. But from it's a great way. From a distance of someone that doesn't know, yeah. it, it, it gives it's got the same shape. <laughs> but this uh, here is the unlucky watch I was telling you about. I forget the UFC, uh, UFC's fighter's name. So real, real quick, just to give some context. Uh, Michael came in one of the show, showed me a lot of his watches. He's got a lot of unique and cool things that you don't see every day. So we're just going to take a look at some of them talk about them. So this one, so this is the unlucky one you said? Yeah, yeah. I forget the UFC fighter's name. He, it, Ublo made it for him. Um, and they were going to present it to him at the, I believe the MGM Grand Boutique. Don't hold me that. I know it was in Las Vegas. And on his way to go pick it up, he like tripped up or down the stairs and broke his leg. And he refused to take it. And uh, this and is then, definitely not a good watch for telling the time, though. It hurts your eyes. Oh, yeah, the like, spider web over the front is like you're like <laughs> stupidly impossible to tell. Um, yeah, but it's a, it's just unique. I thought the spider, as a matter of fact, I thought it was a Halloween watch when I bought it. I bought it at an auction, it was a Sotheby's auction. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I thought it was a I thought it was just a Halloween theme that Ublo did. I had no idea it had anything to do with the UFC fighter. And you found that after the fact, I, I mean, I probably should have read the description more, but not terrible. You just I, just, saw and you're like, I saw a watch and I was like, okay, no one was bidding on it. I, you know, I think I, I think I scooped it for 11 or something and the MSRP was 20 something. So I was like, oh, 50% off on a Ublo is not bad, but, uh, yeah, it's whatever, um, they call it, this is called a spider bang. Um, and I think it was limited, it's limited to a hundred pieces. This is 21. And like I said, it was, I don't think they ended up doing 
a hundred pieces because even even if you talk to somebody at Ubla, they know what this is, and it's like they just call it oh, the unlucky watch. Yeah. Like yeah, like my guy that my dealer that sold me my t uh, you know the tiger. He was the guy that was supposed to deliver this watch. Like he was in the boutique waiting. So he, so he knew about the whole. Oh, thing. he knows about it. Uh, so H Y T. We'll move to this. Uh, I'm gonna get nerdy here. H O one diamond. I think is the uh, uh, reference number. Now, now I feel like I gotta know my Holy reference. God. <laughs> yeah. So seven point <laughs> seven two carats of flawless diamonds. Um, I don't know what the biggest thing is. That is their. That was their halo watch. Um, and if you don't know, I mean, you, I think you said you knew what HYT is. So yeah. their whole movement's based on compressing fluids through everything. Uh, that's cool. why it has those, um, uh, I want to say baffles, but that might not be the right word. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know the correct term. Yeah, so they're just constantly about. fluctuating. Um, it's manual wind, obviously. And then it's pushing the red fluid around the tube inside. Um, and then what's cool, it's actually two fluids. You see the red. The clear is actually um, luminous, so under dark that it just glows. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Can what you tell how to tie the time? Like that's the thing I always no. ask people. So y your your fluid is on the hours. So right now it would be what is what's that? And we we're at ten, so that's ten. So you're at nine, and then this is your minute marker. So you're coming up on you're coming almost ten o'clock. Ten o'clock, yeah. What but is, it's not this, long right now. What is this sub dial? That is your right? so if, I'll show you real quick. So if you take this. And you wind, that's your power indicator. Oh, so you'll okay. see so it starts filling. Indicator. Yeah, you can start seeing it fill with red. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's um, it's not long. It doesn't. I think it's like I think it, I want to say it's forty-eight hour power reserve. It's not very long. The only thing I don't care about that watch personally is um, well, two. Let me say two things. One, the you can't easily change the strap on this. Uh, no one makes these except for HYT. And the only straps they make for this watch are rubber. It's just in either black mm. or red. Um, and I don't care for rubber. Sh I don't personally don't care for rubber silicon straps. Um, and then the other problem I have is like, unless you're a real serious watch person, no one knows what the f this is. Like, yeah. You know. So. To an average person, it probably just looks like a mall watch. You find it like at a kiosk. It's huge. 100%. It's gaudy. Like. I was at Ma I was at Mayer's buying my Sprite Rolex, and a doctor came up behind us, and he was like, "Is that an H I H Y T?" And knew. I was like, "You know what it is." And he was like, <laughs> "I've never seen one in person." <laughs> like. <laughs> Well, I had I had a similar thing happen once. I was at a I was at Festivals of Speed in Ocala, and I had a let me see if I can remember the whole thing. Corum Admirals Cup Tides. There, there was some long okay. name. I, there yeah, was yeah. something else with it. And this random woman walks up by herself, and she's looking at everything. She's like, "Is that a Corum Admirals Cup Tide <laughs> Limited Edition? This rose gold forty? And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, no one has ever just known exactly what that is. I, uh, I, love Quorum, I love Quorum watches. I just think their pricing doesn't make sense to me a lot of times. Because they have like really it's cool. absurd. They have some cool pieces. Like I, they had a Quorum pirate watch once that I thought was cool as I saw in Ireland. Mm -hmm. But I was like, how much is it? And it was like, I think it was like 14,000 euro. And I was like, Jesus, even at seven US, like that's still, to me, these are kind of like, these should be two to five maybe. Um, the guy that I got the, the Cartier from, yeah. he has like 20 or 30 quorums. Oh, like okay, okay. The most like obnoxious yeah. things, yeah, yeah, crazy yeah. MSRPs. Yep. I'm like, uh, I know you hate oh. Breitling. Sorry. Just going to take it out. <laughs> calling you out on everything. Uh, just a cool Bentley um, in green. It was a, it's their GMT. Um, I like the green. British racing green. So one of the few rubber straps I'm actually okay with. I think it wears really nice. I don't know if it's just that it's thicker, so it doesn't like feel like it's moving around. Maybe that might be my issue. I like rubber straps a lot, but they have to be made yeah. right. Like I don't want one, I don't like it when it's too thick or, or like stiff I hate or horse. anything. I, hot but I, I don't hate want horse be... straps. I hate horse. I just don't like I don't like the ones where you put the actual like Rolex clasp or whatever yeah, on it. Yeah. It's too too much. But like just a regular little buckle, that's fine. So do you like the factory? Um, uh, which one is it? The is it the Oyster Flex? Oyster, I thought it was the GMT. No, not the GMT. The um, yeah, it's not the Yachtmaster. What's the one they do? Yeah, they, like, they make the rubber yeah. strap on. The, the strap okay. is called the Oyster Flex. Oh, I'm sorry. That okay, okay. From from the little bit of experience I have with them, I don't okay. mind them. It's always funny when I see. It's someone. just about how it fits. My buddy Adam has one, and I love it. I love the look. I know, and it's I always funny yesterday. when you see a solid gold Rolex on a rubber strap. I'm like, it's just the, it's just very. I, I love it when I see it. I'm like, yeah. that's cool. But uh, this just GMT World Time. Like I just thought it was like a, a neat piece. Plus it was attached to Bentley, so. Omega, Moonwatch, Professional, Hesselite as it should be. Anyone that doesn't have a Hesselite uh, <laughs> face is wrong. 
compensating. I mean, I'm just saying, if you're going to buy the Moon Watch, buy you it well for every aspect like that you have to have. Like, you know, it needs to be manual wine. It needs to have Hesalite. That is... And I have friends that gasp. That is my daily wear, throw around. I'm outside watching the Nothing people mow my that. lawn. Uh, <laughs> that's that's why it's so scratched. Like, and you can send it right back to uh, Omega, and they either polish or replace it. No problem. No questions asked. But you can see. I mean, that thing. That thing scuffed as. Yeah, it's got some yeast to yeah, it. Yeah, that is my. That's my throw while you, were, you weren't scared to beat this one. That is my absolute. But like I said, when we were talking, that was you know this was a four thousand dollar watch, and now it's uh, what is it nine? Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, it's like eight thousand dollars. It's bunkers. So, I think, and you don't I think even this get... one's like seven or eight, and then the sapphire is like eight or nine. And you like... don't even get the cool box in anything anymore. Like when I bought this, I have a giant the box huge... with straps on it and everything. Yep. You don't even get that anymore. Yeah, MSRP is regular... insane on it. It's bonkers. It Way too today. much for what it is. I don't know what you think about Chopard. I'm not sure if you're a fan or not. Just another, like, I just, you know why I bought that? Because, like, they were, like, willing to do a discount, and no one does discounts post uh, uh, and you're just like, oh, pandemic. Why not? And I was like, why not? I also had no idea that it had anything to do with racing. I just thought it was a cool, you know, it had a few complications on it. It looked, you know, like what I probably should wear to a business meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then I was like, I flipped it over and saw it was a Jackie something on the back. Jackie. I C K X. Yeah, it, and it, I thought I don't that know if that's was a word I, or a I figured he was like a yacht driver or some crap that I don't care about. And then I looked it up. Hours on it. Yeah, it was the he's a, like one of the original twenty four hour Le Mans race car drivers. The and signature. then I learned this is kind of a um, um, homage homage to the Daytona. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's it. got that look a little. And then on the crown, there's a steering wheel. Like oh, yeah. literally days after buying it, it's the small details. But everything you, happens. You just look at it, you're like, oh, it's just chronograph, like cool, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. you're like, wait a minute. And then I think you're probably dipping into stuff you absolutely know, but yeah. just Sprite. Sprite. Just to look at. I mean, I'm sure you've seen a thousand of them. Yeah. Uh, I probably like most Sprite owners. I have wear it. I do wear it. I think I think it's funny. I wear it on my left hand, and it gets people upset. Like, oh, you're supposed to wear it on your right. Um, but uh, I'm I'm like I was gonna say, most owners hoping that that just gets discontinued soon because I think that's where the money <laughs> suddenly becomes. Yeah. And. Uh, they're still expensive. Yeah. 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 And then Still going way once, over. I mean, it's always like once Rolex kills off a brand or a uh, model, then that's when the, all yep. the money gets made. Uh, right at the beginning and right at the end. Yeah, yeah. James, uh, James Cameron. That yeah, to me, yesterday. yeah, that to me is my absolute favorite Rolex. Um, I like them, even though they're huge. Yeah. I, I still like them. I chased it for a while. I had a uh, used one first. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those things I like just picked up a gray market. Uh, it was the original, like the first generation. I don't, you know, I'm sorry, I don't know the reference of it. One, no, it's the one on six. Then they went to the next one where they changed the font a little or something, and, and now it's at one three six, which there's you can't even physically see any differences really. Yeah, and then uh, I also want that that deep sea. Is that the one with the, the challenge? The yeah, huge one. I want that one so bad. I'm on the I'm on the list for it, but and it's funny, my 80s like, oh, you don't want that watch. What's MSRP like, on those things again? Is it 18? Sounds right. They're still selling like 30s. Yeah. And it's so funny when you watch Huge. people talk about them, they're like, oh, they're terrible wares. But then they're like, I'm like, well, somebody's buying them. And then uh, obviously, they're out there. Starbucks, fake Hulk. So <laughs> <laughs> fake Hulk. <laughs> to me, Submariners, great wares. They're just always like a comfortable, super awesome watch. Like, I just, you know. Did you get this from the AD too? Did you get all these Rolexes yeah, from AD? All my Rolexes are from Mayors, yeah, AD. Uh, this is that stupid Panerai. You got it because when you go to your Rolex AD, you have to buy something stupid to this buy the one that you just, to get a call. Or just like yeah, whatever, whatever. twenty four twenty four thousand for a Panerai. Who, what kind of like idiot am I? Like, twenty four thousand. Although it was kind of neat, I went to the I went into another Panerai uh, store in another state, and uh, I just walked in, and the guy was like losing his mind. He was like, "You actually mind. own it?" I was like, "Yeah, I was an idiot. I bought it." Like, <laughs> not a fan of the strap though. Uh, oh, okay. So that's not the Panerai strap. Okay. It's shark. Uh, it's custom made. It's out of sh it's shark skin because the one that comes with it's rubber. And, and you don't like rubber. And I hate rubber, so. So I assume you don't like it, like the color match or just the feeling of it. I just don't like the color. Like okay. it look. I don't know. It just like I mean, obviously it is a little dirty, but it just look like the pattern to me looks dirty. Uh, it's there, not yeah. Made. Well, it, honestly, it's also I think I've only worn that twice. It's probably not dirty. It's just shark skin. Yeah, it's just so how it is. So I have a guy that can make. Uh, straps and bracelets mm -hmm. out of anything. Like you want zebra, <laughs> like you want you want <laughs> buffalo <laughs> skin. Like he will he make everything. <laughs> like literally, yeah, he, he, he went. He took anything. Literally. Anything. <laughs> he will literally make it for you. And then uh, just a two door. Uh, what is this? These are cool. Yeah. Um, 
I think they, there was a period of time it was find a, hard to find the two tones on the on the metal bracelet. They always had that weird leather like I I like the no. Eagles as a band watch like <laughs> uh, it makes no sense to me. like I'm a Native American. I like these um, yeah, kind of neat. Uh, you know, all those inserts are gold. That's that's what's neat. It's brass, gold, and stainless steel, so it's just kind of neat. Um, I like, I you know, I kind of like Tudor from the sense of being like a sister company Rolex. Yep, so, I like their stuff. They got a lot of cool stuff, for, especially for the money. Yeah, that that um, that black and red one they had that's like motor Ducati themed almost. Do you know what I'm talking about? Ducati. It's like all black and the lettering is red. Um, I could be wrong on Ducati. I know it's a mo motorcycle. Like it's attached to a motorcycle. I always thought that looked really cool. This one? Welcome to our... This uh, red... No. It's like all black. Like completely blacked out. I can't think of the name of it. It was popular... It was probably like... No colors at all on it though? Yeah, except for red. Just red on the marker numbers, I think. Or just the dots. Like the slashes. Fast, Fast Rider, 4200 cc. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Because it had the same... It's reference numbers like a motorcycle. That's a neat watch. It looks cool in person and it wears pretty neat. But I always think Tudor, there's some things I don't like by Tudor, I don't like, I don't know, like some of them, like, there's stuff that looks like subs, what's that one, you know, that, like they come in red and blue and... Black Bays. Black Bays, that's it. I like Black Bays. But I mean, in fairness, this one looks like a, what is this, Daytona? Yeah, exactly. So, I guess I don't have much room to talk. Um, but that's it, I just, I, 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 like I said, I didn't grab... You got a lot of unique stuff, though. Yeah, some stuff. It's not just like, I got every single steel Rolex ever made, but it's like, you got a lot of cool stuff that... Most people aren't going to know what it is. Yeah, some of my, I mean, my waiting list now, challenge we talked about, um, Daytona uh, on a, they're doing the rubber strap in the Daytona now, right? Yeah, yeah. that. Also Daytona with a clear. Which which Daytona? Uh, ca, ca, are you asking color or the? the like color, material. Like so what, the one on the rubber strap is black, if I remember correctly. The new one? Yeah. And then also I'm waiting on the um, clear backed platinum one. On that. Good luck with that. Yeah, also, <laughs> please don't call me soon because I don't know if I don't know. <laughs> Those are expensive. Yeah, I think it's 78. I saw, I think I saw one pop up the other day for sale finally. Okay. I made it wrong. Okay. But uh, I've seen, there's a couple of the Le Mans one have, been, have come out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 250, 225 or something stupid Jesus, that they were, yeah. that they sold for. Yeah, yeah, In yeah. five minutes. I think it was 225. Some guy had two of them. Okay. Sold in like less than an hour. Okay. But it's like MSRP is like uh, forty something, I think fifty yeah. something maybe. Because I know I'm on two, for the two Daytonas, the Challenge, and then I also um, I was trying for some of those fun, unique uh, date just ones. But I think that boat's long since sailed. They called me yet. I don't think that's happening at any mm -hmm. point now. And uh, yeah, I think that I think that's all on the Rolex side. I'm not a big fan of Yacht Masters. Um, I like I don't like Yacht Twos. I like regular yachts though. Okay. I like okay. Some, I like some of them. Okay. I wish I didn't sleep on the Milagosses, because I remember when you could just grab Milagosses. Like, Milagosses were like, they, like when you go in, and it's always just a presidential, yep. they just, and then there would also just be a Milagoss, but I was like, who would buy these things? And then I, I read more and understood that it was like, it's got to do with like, electrical the worker side. Yep. And, um, and uh, uh, I thought, I was like, oh, that's cool. But about the time I found all that stuff was about the time that I realized that now you can't get them. Like, you're in their waiting list watches now. <laughs> and the ones in the secondhand market are just stupid money. So. Yep. They, they've settled down a lot. I got lucky with one, though. I, I bought one from someone. One a local person brought it in. I bought it from him. Like, the next day, they discontinued it. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> and I was like, that's a win. Same thing, <laughs> same thing with the Daytona's. I bought one. I was about to post it, and then that morning they dis they discontinued. Jesus. And I was like, "All right," and I made I sold it for two grand more than I was planning on. <laughs> and I was like, "That works." Yeah, I remember when I was at the there. They had three of the. I think it's the glasses, like tinted green or something, if I remember correctly. On the Milgoss. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the edge. Yeah. Yeah, but so that's the orange white, like the orange hands, because there's two models, right? If I'm yeah, not there's mistaken. Yeah, there's the old one, and then there's the one without. Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh, I should grab one of these. And I was like, man, I'm kind of stupid. So it's like uh, King Airs, right? King Airs were like a thing you could just get. Like no one wanted a King Air. And now those are They're like, still over. now everyone's like, oh, you know. Yeah. I think it's, I think where it comes out is I think you run into watches become popular, right? So obtaining 40, 50, 60, you know, even 20,000 plus dollar watches are tough. So then people run to the stuff they can't afford. That's why G-Shocks yep, are popular. Yep, and then it starts getting getting lower on inventory, and then everyone wants it, and it builds up. Because like a few years ago, you think people right. just didn't want certain things that you can go go in there and get a discount. But now it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. can't get anything. Yeah, yeah, you and then I'll, It's uh, like, oh, two-tone Datejust 36, yeah. we got you. And then here, there's the Moon's Watch. I know you were asking <laughs> about it. 
Yeah. I like it. What kind of jerk? Uh, has I still want one, but I already know what I'm, what's going to happen is I'm going to buy one, wear it like twice, and never touch it again. I'm making myself wear it this week. Here's the thing. So I have probably about 28 of these things sitting in the in the corner of my <laughs> office on the floor. Uh, as a matter of fact, I forgot I even had them because somebody threw some t-shirts over the pile and I didn't even realize they were there. And then I was like, you know what? I really should try wearing one because I don't even know what they're like. I never even opened them. They're all, I would just go well, into the swatch store, get as many it, as I could, in the pile. have a conversation with someone being like, oh, are you a flipper? And I'm like, no, I'm just buying them. And then they're I'm like, well, what? And I was like, I just wanted to own one of every one of them. But <laughs> the problem is, is like... I know that certain of them are hard to get. Mars, the Mars one, like obviously Neptune and Moon. Neptune's the, you know, they stopped production. The I don't know if you one. know. Neptune had an issue where the first ones, the blue was coming off. So they killed mm. production. So That's Neptune, why they sell for double compared yeah, to the Yeah, Neptune, what, at the height, I think Neptune's were like 2000 People were paying 2000 for them. Now they're like... 600 ish, give or take yep. a little bit, depending yeah. on whatever. But. Uh, and then Moon's always been hard because that's the one everyone's chasing yep. the Moon, the actual Moon Swatch. And uh, so I would just go in and I'd be like, oh, okay, well, every time I come in here, you know, I can find a <laughs> Jupiter and uh, uh, Neptune, or no, 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 not Neptune, like it. Jupiter and Pluto. You can always find those, right? But Earth is not, you know, Mars Jupiter's is Jupiter's a tan one, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Saturn. I probably should have said Jupiter and Saturn are always the ones that are super easy to find. It's like the like the ones that look beige. No one wants. But like um, Mars, red, white strap. Everyone wants that. It's got even a, the, a cooler marker on the top of it because mm -hmm. it's it's trying to look like that uh, Alaskan one. I don't know if you're familiar with the Omega or the Omega Alaskan Challenge watch or some crap. I don't. I probably butchered the Alaska that. Project. Yeah, thank you, Alaska Project. Uh, it was like they it's crazy watch encapsulated so they could like go to zero sub temperatures and never have a problem um so everybody wanted that one and uh uh so i was just i would just start buying the ones that i knew were hard you're to just get. buying every single one of them i was like as, pile as many, i would pile in you know them. if i took five friends to vegas we're getting six five <laughs> them five plus me we're getting six watches more here might as well and uh, so you just amass this collection of them that i'm like i don't even know what they feel like i've never touched them i didn't even know how to start it because i haven't had a quartz watch in forever <laughs> i was like i was like really? hello <laughs> Checking my iPhone to see if it paired, like, like, I had no idea. But it's actually, it's not bad. Like, if you didn't care that someone held a gun to you and was like, give me your watch. watch. I like them on the rubber straps, too, the people, like, the aftermarket ones. Yep, 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 yep. I think cool. My only thing is, you know, a lot of the stuff I read, because most, I, the only thing I knew about them was just from reading people, mm -hmm. is they're like, oh, they get beat up so bad. Like, they well, scratch instantly. Plastic. Well, yeah, that's true. But also, like, I'm three, four days into this, and then it looks min. So maybe these people are just going to their plumbing jobs or something? I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't like... Know. People beat, like, people beat their stuff it around up in the park. Like, oh, it's, it's not durable. I'm like, no, you just... Yeah. I'm careless with it. <laughs> um, but I, I just, I mean, it, it's a it's a cool thing. I know it's hated because people think it takes away from the Omega side. But I, I think at the end of the day, all the people I've ever stood in line with at an Omega shop are clearly people that this is their most, like, this is a big watch purchase for them. Well, if they're not a flipper. It, it, yeah, I've run into flippers and they're the people, like the worst people. Like, it's good for all the people that want to get yeah. into it but like can't really Correct. afford Unless, it or whatever. And they yeah. just, or they want something. They're like, I want something that looks kind of cool. But it's got like the history behind it or so people Correct. still... So right. it, was, yep. it was a great marketing tactic, and now they're doing it with Blanc. Yeah, and I, I, I was telling uh, Gino, I have a couple of those. I'll have them, if you want, I can come by and show them to you guys if you want. I'll have them in November when I go out to Vegas. So my buddy out there has just been grabbing them, them as he can. And then you're gonna, he's you're gonna always going by. Bag. Yeah, yeah. And it was funny. I wanted, I don't know any of their models or anything, but the one I wanted was the one that had the radiation, like no radiation on the bottom. It's mm -hmm. orange. I think it's the orange one. That's what, That was the first one he lucky landed, and I got the blue one. Um, so I'll, I'll check them out and see what they're like. I heard those are a little more robust, but again, I think they were a lot more, I want to say almost $1,000 or they're something. Oh, they are mechanical. Great. I'd see, that's, I don't even know. Like, I just assume it's going to sit on the floor <laughs> and not be touched. Okay. Okay. That like modular movement that they made. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I mean, that's pretty cool. I, it was funny. I wanted that no radi radiation one because I thought it looked cool in the promotion video. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, why would I buy that? I just, I'll just i just buy the Blanc Pain. Is it Blanc Pain? Is that how you pronounce it? Blanc Pond, Blanc Pain, Whatever. Blanc Pain. Everyone yeah. says the tomato, tomato. I'll, uh, I'll just buy that actual one. And I just had no idea what their price points are. I know nothing about their movement. And nobody at that store was willing to jump on the board to help educate me on it. But they, I've done that with a lot of brands. Like um, uh, Chopard's one, uh, Jagar. Jagar. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, there you go. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of these like uh, uh, Longinus. There's another one. Like I find these. There's probably these really great brands and watches out there that you know. Unless you're watching John Mayer do Houdini and reviews, you're gonna have no clue about. Like 
because they're that they're so stuffy. Like they don't want to. They don't want me yeah. as a customer. They don't. You know, they want my dead. They want, grand, the they want my the dead grandfather old, as a customer. The yeah, exactly. So all proper, not walking around in shorts and a t-shirt and just like I don't ever. Yeah, but I just want the only thing I don't like for some reason I like these, but I I do want to say I absolutely hate. Uh, um, G Shock. I just want to make sure it's. On oh, I, I, I figured that one out yesterday. Well, I got on record. So. <laughs> I, record. I hate G Shock as an entry level, but it's only because that Nico guy. I hate that. Just I think he's bought into this. He's gotten millions of kids on Reddit and YouTube to believe this thing that an AP and a G Shock are. Casio, this is, ah, this is God tier right yeah. here. Here's my other hot take. I think uh, Grand Seikos are garbage. I think they're just pure trash. I think if you're if you are gonna use the line that every Grand Seiko owner always says, it's the movement. You don't understand how mechanical and beautiful it holds in the ten thousand years it's gonna lose a second. Who cares? You'll be dead. Like no one who cares? They're they are ugly they are overpriced Seikos. Just go buy a Seiko it's, to if me you it's want. Like, they don't they don't really like do anything for me. I just look at it and it's like I don't get like an attraction to them just like like and the, then the, the set, snowflake dolls, they look cool, but that's about it for me. The rest of it's like, it doesn't do it for me. I just do not understand that brand at all. And I don't understand how passionate people are about it. But it's always people that, to me, like, I've never met a Grand Seiko owner that, is, you know, swears by Grand Seiko that you could then find an AP or a Rolex or it's always, it's Grand Seiko and then a bunch of Seikos and like weird stuff that you've never, like, I'm sorry, my collection, I guess. So like things you've never seen, but it's never, I, I don't know. It's, and they it think they have the craziest thing that's yeah. ever been built. Yeah. Okay. You know, like Whatever. if you were, if you were a mechanical person, you'd understand. I am a mechanical person. I do understand. <laughs> like I, but I don't like, you know. Like it's a mechanical watch. Like they're they lose time. I have I there, here's a box all mechanical, right? I used to use a winder. I don't know if you're a big a fan of winders or not. I bought. To this. be honest, I don't set the time. I never set the time on a watch. <laughs> you're just walking around. You're like he's. I just walk power. around. I'm just like need to see the time. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So I did the whole. I don't set the time. <laughs> I bought the Wolf winder. I think it was 16 watch Wolf winder. It cost Too thousands much money. upon thousands of dollars, and. Uh, it made it made noise. That was the thing that kind of drove me a little nuts, you know, because you'd think you'd pay so much, but you could just I could just hear this. It was probably a bit of the watches like moving, just gravity. And, They're cheaply and, made too. Like yeah. someone, I don't remember how I got it. Someone gave me one one time. It was like a single one, but uh -huh. it was broken, <laughs> and I was curious, so I like started like ripping it apart. Made it's, it's, it's fake leather that's glued on the cardboard. Yes, no, no you're right. Stiff cardboard. You're 100 percent right. It's literally yep. cardboard. I was like, wow, yep. this is trash. But I kept <laughs> it all. In, I kept them all in the wolf winder because I thought it was cool because they all. Uh, 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 the only time I get screwed is when there's 30 days in a month. I'm 31. That's the only time I get screwed across the board. And uh, um, I just thought, you know, I was like, this is the way to do it. And then I was, I sent a watch in for repair and the watch, uh, you know, you get like a repair guy you talk to before it goes out. And he was like, do you keep these in a winder? And I was like, oh yeah. And he's like, oh, you really shouldn't. And I was like, why? And he's like, it's wear and tear. And people say it's that. It's just the rotors like... nonstop moving. And I was like, well, that makes sense, I guess, Maybe to me. Maybe about 100 dead. Yeah, well, that's it. I mean, is it 100 years before we've worn the metal down? Yeah. But, but then I was like, you know what? At the end of the day, different from you, I enjoy setting it. Yeah. Because I, I like to feel it, especially... You like, you, like, you like the whole everything that encompasses it. Plus, the, I, I think Rolex is... When I get a brand new Rolex and I get to like... A, that smoothness is just butter. That, like, that's him. He likes yeah. that. Oh, he knows. He for knows. me, I'm just like... Eh. It's like when all these videos about you can't find a fake Rolex, bulls. I can, I can, I can wind a fake one or an old one and tell you like the old ones either fake and the fake ones either old. I can't, I'll, it's one of those two, but you just know, they just, you feel it instantly. Like there's no, there's no like push, maybe just a little pushback on it, but it's just like glides. Watches and every night I have a ritual. I sit there and I wind oh, I all 12 of them every night. I love night, it. Make sure the time set, date set. I just want to wake up in the morning and be like, all right, which one of these 12 am I going to wear tonight? <laughs> All right. Can I look at this one first? Yeah, is that okay? Do you mind if I take it out? Go or, okay, this thing. You can pick up whatever. Oh my god. You know what it is about <laughs> this? I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not the diamonds. It's just the root. I. I mean, I'm assuming. You like the pink? Is it? It's just colored stones. It's just colored stones. Stone? Just like basic colored stones. Nothing like. Uh, Every time I crazy. see, I'm assuming this is a uh, bust down, right? Is that what we call this? Bust down, iced out, oh, whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Everyone calls it something different. All right, All right. yo, come on. <laughs> look at me. This is amazing. Okay, so that is just, what are we, are we lab created clear sapphires or something and then they're just they're, coloring them? They're or? Just, it's just like a, a, like a synthetic colored stone, that's all it is. Okay. It's okay. not like any like sapphires or any like real stones or whatever. That yeah. would make it a lot more expensive. It's just a basic okay. colored dial. Yeah. This, this had a, 
uh, the bezel on it before was all the pink stones too. Oh man, I would have. I got invited to a two-door release party once, and I didn't realize they were pre-production prototype watches. And I, I undid this crown, and it shot out, and like four <laughs> springs shot out of the floor, and it was like a hush Everyone's of like, like gasp across the crowd. And the guy was like, sir, these are prototype watches. I was like, oh. Well, you didn't I'll. tell me that. <laughs> I was like, I should have put a tag on it so don't pull out. I was or... like, I just wanted to feel what the movement felt like. <laughs> So what is this like? Is this an old old watch? Like no, is this, that's okay. that's a current one. Oh okay. Current model. okay. It doesn't have a card. It's not the exact year, but gotcha. those came out in 2017. I want to say. Yeah. So sometime between there and newer. I've seen some aftermarket Same thing, full diamonds. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm not a big fan of this Cartier watch personally. You don't like, you don't like Santos's? No, I don't like square watches, which is funny because we were talking about the Monaco of that being my only one exception. I love Santos's personally. Um, I just don't. I think square watches always look a little strange. Um, you know, I've had I've had a few Bell and Rosses, um, but I always just end up getting rid of them. Mm -hmm. because, but that Bell and Ross, have you seen the Bell and Ross skull, laughing yeah. skull one? I'm a big fan of that. Um, but uh, I think for me, it's every time I see an aftermarket that has like a red or pink stone, I'm like, I get well, in love with it. Let me show you what it looked like originally with a different uh, bezel. This is what it looked like before. I would, I, there was no, nothing could have kept me and that watch apart at that point. <laughs> like, did you just keep that or is it gone? Like, I still, my friend has a bezel right okay. now. Still has it. Well, if you change, I've done it, a lot of colored you, stuff like like that bezel. That's okay. all aftermarket. Like that, yeah. Somebody right now, uh, we're in that. Uh, I think Moda or yeah. something. I think they're doing it. Somebody or just ended an auction. auction on that, and I was like, if that was the red version or pink or whatever you call it. They don't really do the subs in those. I'm sure it could probably be built, but like those ones, it's normally that or green. Gotcha. I've done green ones too that are pretty cool. Gotcha. I was in uh, New York City. This was way pre pandemic This was back when you could get um, uh, subs and stuff in an AD. You could walk in, just buy it, and leave. So mm -hmm. we're talking 13, 14, 2013, 2014, somewhere around there. I was in New York City. I went into a little jewelry store. That's what Yeah, I saw that. Yep, yep, yep. I like, yep. I like the green. The green looks gorgeous, too. And... Uh, they had the red, you know, instead of the blue stones, the red stones with the white oscillating and everything. And I picked it up for, it was all aftermarket. I picked it up for like 3,800 bucks or something like that. But I'm like, this thing's probably like the most Chinese, like that's why I didn't even bring it. I just, it's in the bottom of a drawer in a box because I'm like, one day I'm gonna open this thing and I'm gonna, someone's gonna be like, yo, this is movement. You're gonna open it, it's gonna have ETA inside. Yeah, exactly, and I'm like, I just, cause the guy told me, he admitted it. He was like, bro, this is cheap. Uh, he did it in an Arabic accent, but he He's said, like, bro, this like, is I cheap don't know what I, I don't know because what says, this thing is probably like 27 different watches put together here. So, but I was like, oh man, it looked just because it had the red stones. I was like, so I was like, yeah. So what I do is anytime we're like, if we're going to like something in the ocean or somewhere where I want to have a nice watch, but I also don't care if somebody like steals it gets... and, or I smash it against a rock. Mm -hmm. I just wear that because it usually <laughs> blows people's minds. Like, cause they think it's diamonds and I know everything in there is you probably know, it's glass. Probably it's probably colored Chinese. glass. So, but, uh, all right. So, uh, you want to run me down? The Let's see. Cool so here's stuff? a UN. So you, yep. you do like UN? I do. I do. Big fan. So this one's pretty cool. It's 43 millimeter. Gold. Yeah. Black. Oh, it's a yeah. maxi Marine. Jesus. I might, I think no, my mitts might pop. be a little, uh, it was only halfway open. Yeah. That one, uh, it's Black Surf Limited Edition. So if you look at the dial, it's got like a wave pattern. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's is this the one you got one. the surfboard when you bought? Do you remember that? I don't know. Okay. Every I, U I, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, every Ulysses Narden uh, had a giant surfboard in their thing, and there was one, one watch. If you bought it, you got the surfboard. So um, this is cool as Are we that's allowed cool. to talk pricing, or are we keeping that? We can talk pricing. Right what, what's the price on this? That one, uh, 10 that's that's fantastic, actually. I'm sure for MSRP gold? was something crazy. Yeah, yeah. For and this gold? one, they make another one too. That so see these like these black little pieces uh -huh. right here. They make another one that's in, that has gold pieces too. This is cool though. I love this. The guy I got it from, this, he has like, the exact same one just with gold pieces also. Um, this reminds me of like when we were talking rubber strapped uh, that Rolex uh, gold Rolex. Like yeah. this reminds me of I can't the rubber on that. a gold watch. Plus the weight of a solid gold. See watch. to me, this is the weird part. The what the class? Yeah, how oh, it's just like steel. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Just, it just like doesn't with, match. Yeah, yeah. It's I like gotcha. kind of weird. Yeah, I remember my first Julie Snart and I bought. Uh, I had the, you know it's this strap, it's rubber, and I didn't know you had to cut it, and I was like, 
Well, huge. I'm going to make this mistake only once before I realize I've just shortened it too much. And I knew yeah, that's I had why to you got to go one piece well, at a time. Well, I knew I had to take four of them out, but I was cutting one, putting it back together. And I'm like, I know I need three more. That's but what, then I, I did cut that, another one. And I had to do that with someone recently. I had a Breitling. The, I think I was telling you that White Dial Super Ocean I had recently. Yep, 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 yep. That was on a rubber. And the guy, the guy he had a small wrist. So I was cutting it like one piece at a time. It's a pain because <laughs> it's like, you got to take the spring bar out, right. cut it, put it back in, but get it all, try it on, whatever, see if it fits. And then take it all apart again. I had to take like almost all of it out. <laughs> they yeah. cut almost all of it. I uh, I love this like uh, um, this watch. I love this, and that's that's a fantastic price. Like if I don't know if this is going online. I couldn't. If anyone I hasn't bought this yet, you're done. I couldn't find many for sale online, but the couple I found, it was like stupid money, like fifteen to twenty. Yeah, my 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 gripe with Yuli Starden, like when we were talking, I have a few brands that I think you should never buy new. Um, unless you're just in a position where you don't want to own used watches. You just don't yeah, you like. just have whatever money. But Breitling, Breitling being one, um, I think Yuli Snartin is the other one. That To me, it's you go into Yuli Snartin and 90% of the watches are over 30000 And it doesn't make any sense. Because you're you're going to walk out and it's worth 10. Yeah, you'll get a titanium rubber-strapped sport watch and it's 35,000 and you're like why make, is this 30 why is this 35,000 like no sense. one is clamoring for you least Narden, you know I apologize I hate it I love the brand but no one's do, out there clamoring for it um, I had a are it's very similar to this but it was the hammerhead so it had a hammerhead sharks instead of waves on the front mm -hmm. uh, on the side it was only 20 of them so it was labeled I had like I think it was like 0 8 of 20 on the plate on the side. I think this one's um, what, 500? I and then it's it limited edition on the one. Yeah, this one is, uh, what does it say? I think it's 500. Um, I think it's 500. This is number 354. I'm pretty, so sure, it's, I'm pretty right. sure it's 500. Yeah. Um, limited edition on the one metal link, and then the other side had a hammerhead shark on it. And it was like my one of my favorite watches, and then someone just offered me way Something. more for it than I thought I could ever get in my life and I regretted it because I've never been able to find another one they make a hammerhead one but it not the limited edition one mm. that's in red and blue so I had another one of these in the past that was a uh, made of carbon okay and it was zero zero one. Oh, cool cool same, cool. same yep, thing yep, like yep. same thing like what you have yeah yeah with the tag yeah yep it was zero zero one out of however many it was that they made I'll look at the Frank Mueller I know I talked told I you I don't, don't like care Mueller, I just my thing this is, thing is cool 90% of Frank Mueller watches also look like ladies watches to me even when they're men's they still kind of look like a ladies this watch one, to me this one this is cool so everything on this is factory white gold okay, factory cool, diamonds cool, cool. factory blue strap yeah. that's the thing you know when you see factory dot, you could uh, at least my eye, I can always catch that quality diamond. You can tell the difference. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you yeah. can tell the difference. It's just something about the sparkle. But to just... me, what's cool about this is like on top of all that is the movement. So it's because it's the crazy hour, so it's all out of order. Oh, okay. So how is it? Is it just jumping around? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Tiffany and company did a drop on that luggage. Did you guys see that? The Reve Revio mm -hmm. luggage. It was uh, uh, so Revio does like steel luggage, but Tiffany did it where they cut into it to make it look like diamonds. I was super hyped for this drop to come out. And I'm like waiting because Tiffany, you know, they do these drops and you can get on the list and you got to just jump in their store and buy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, the drop comes out and I'm like, ready. I'm ready to spend some stupid, stupid amount of money, money on luggage with it. And then it's like, drop released. Come to our New York City store. <laughs> I was like, oh You're like well, I was like, I'm in Florida. <laughs> so, see how it's on eight right now? Okay. So when it goes, the hit oh, jumps. Oh, okay. That's really cool. Okay, then I'll give you that. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So it jumps all the way around. Yeah. That's one of those watches That's where you're like, like you're looking at it, waiting. It's just unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the HYT, whenever it gets to 6 p.m. is when it dumps all the fluid. So I'm always like at 5.59 looking just to wait to watch it go through its movement. So Here's another cool one. So you like Zenith? Yeah, yeah. Zenith's another brand like so, we're talking about. I just don't know anything about them. This like, is an Academy Turbion. This okay. one's completely brand new, never worn, 2014. Yep. All factory rose gold Turbion. Okay. So this thing's cool. It's probably big money, right? Because as soon as we get that T word. What, what do you think it'd be worth? So here's the tough thing. I'm going to just throw you a number that I think, but I don't know enough about Zenith. To, I know the pres, Presidente or something, or what? what, is, what isn't that the one everyone wants? Yeah, the, the El Primero. El, yeah, is it El President or El Primero or something? Yeah. I knew that. They're um, a bunch of different models. So I always have a policy that the minute I see uh, Torbion, Torbillion, you, you think big money? I think it's always going to be over 60000 But... You, you've you got a solid gold, you lease Nard in there for 10, so I'm assuming this is going to be a steal. Um, you're smiling a lot, so <laughs> I'm going to say, my guess, 40000 Half of that. 20? 
Wow. Now, I mean, I'm sure MSRP was something like absurd, like somewhere between 60 and 100 if I had to guess. Yeah, but I mean, but, real talk to give, first off, let me just settle this so I don't feel like a moron for the rest of my life. How do I say the word? Tor, tor, Torbion. 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 Torbion, okay. Um, and then, since you like boxes too, this thing has a huge box. I love so. boxes. That was the thing. I, I had to mull so hard over myself to not bring in every box that I thought it was cool <laughs> for a watch. Like a shopping cart to yeah. So the box isn't anything like crazy or whatever. It's just huge and it's but it's nicely made. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, big box. I'm sold. I bought watches because I, I saw how, the box how for this it. Thing is. Oh, yeah. Like it's that's, a that's yes solid box. Is it wood? Like, please be wood. It actually has a key too. All right, all right. So then, so it's that's it's, the whole box. Yep. And then you have all the manuals and card and whatever. The okay. key's still like all taped up that's in the awesome. plastic. You get to lock the box. It's just cool. It's got a um, that Rolex when you get the bigger one vibe to it, you know, just yeah. classic simple but right in the way middle. Nicer. Do you know what the MSRP was on this? I couldn't find it. I tried to find it. If I had to guess, somewhere between sixty and hundred, but honestly, I have no idea. I've I mean, tried to find it for twenty thousand to put a Furby on on your wrist. Is exactly. Like the smartest gold, move you could make. Forty millimeter. Yeah. Like I can't, I couldn't find another one for sale either. So it's like my price that I was picking on that. I was just kind of like, it seems fair. And I was like comparing the things that look like similar to it, but yeah. I, I couldn't find an MSRP. I couldn't find another one for sale. So it's just kind of like, I want to, I want to, in the dark. I honestly want to break my, for lack of better terms, I'm sorry. I hope this didn't demonetize it. Break my <laughs> cherry on a solid gold watch. I think that I finally hit the age. Where you feel um, like you need it. Where I need a solid watch, gold watch. But the problem is, is most of the time when I see them, they just look like something like someone's dad would be wearing. I mean, I'm probably someone's dad, but I'm just saying, like, it just seems like, like it should be like a little, like, a, like that's why that Yuli Snarden I'm in love with. Because yeah. I'm like, okay, that's how you get into a solid gold, but still. And then that Rolex one, Yachtmaster. So his Yachtmaster, though. What else we got? Let's they make them. Uh, There's another two. How much so is this, the, What's the price on that? Which just one? That toy this? band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, do you, what do you think it'd be oh worth? Oh my god. You know what's <laughs> white, 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 This is not even my memory is terrible because I actually saw your listing yesterday for this, but I don't remember the White price. gold, obviously everything's factory, no like box papers or anything, but I can't find another one for sale either. 30? 37. Okay, all right. So I should have said I found two rose. I found two rose gold ones for sale. Yeah. And one person's asking like 45, one's asking like 50, 51, something like that. Okay. So I'm like, I, I don't know. I mean, but you're, to me, this is another cool watch for the money. It's like, it's a lot of value in my opinion. No, I mean, again, size, especially cool. with that movement, to me, that's always what, you know, yeah. when you start to introduce those into your collection that you're stepping up to a different level because for yep. me, it's always like, no matter what boutique you go into, you know, let's say on the low end, you walk into a Tag boutique and Tag has a tor torbe Torbian movement. The watch went from being 15,000 to now 55,000. And I'm pretty sure I found the MSRP. It's like 120,000 or I something. I believe it. Because that's what stupid. happens. The minute you it was like $120,000. The minute like, you see that escapement, you know, this movement in the middle and you're just circle, like, oh, you're like, that's not well, cheap. I can't afford that, I'm sure. <laughs> but I'll, I'll just go buy a car. Like, what? exactly. <laughs> the car has a clock. So. Exactly. <laughs> is that a, a Breitling? Oh no. Yeah. They have a timer? This is, yeah. yeah. So it's nothing crazy. It's a moon yeah, yeah, phase. It's gorgeous. 42 it's classic. millimeter, just a moon phase. What's your price on it? Uh, 45. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's just simple That's Breitling. It. This is another one. This is like a 39 millimeter yeah, two tone. Yeah, this, nothing yeah, chrono mat, nothing. This is cheap, right? Chrono mat? Chrono yeah. mats are always cheap. I had a mother of burl chrono mat uh, mm -hmm. that went, somebody gave me 35 for, and I thought that was a killer deal that I was getting. Because I think Chrono Mats to me are always like the bargain bin. Yeah. That uh, bright lanes. It's so. normally like the cheaper model. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I love now the timers. I like this the class the white and the black. Yeah. Um, looks good. That's cool. I always like the moon. I like Moon Phase bright lanes. Like I've had a few of them. They always sell well. Like ones on leather, smaller, bigger. Yeah. Just different ones. Moon Phase stuff is cool. I like it. Yeah, anything Moon Phase. I'm in love with. All right. Yeah. What's next? What are we? Let's mm. let's let's oh okay that's a that's the tag low this, tag this tag is, yeah this is the, is that the super buy one, big get baller that for free? Yeah, big baller yeah the big baller quartz tag <laughs> operator these things are pretty cool too for okay. Tudor yeah yeah yeah, yeah Black yeah. Bay Pro it's yeah. like the Explorer yep mm -hmm. I like how they made it uh kind of like a vintage look it's like not everything's not white it's like a like off white kind of color like it's been aged correct yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I cool. gotcha uh, and then now we get into the uh, big. Funny, right? The Not crazy. It's just a two-tone older okay. Okay. 2005. Okay. Two-tone Daytona. All right. This is it's uh, after Zenith. That's not a Zenith one, but okay. it's just an older 
older model Daytona. So explain Super that cool. to me. I, I always hear that phrase after Zane and Third. So what the, does that mean? they used to make the movements for these before they started making it in-house. Is that that Zenith or is yeah. it? Okay, okay, all right. So they used to make the movements um, for them back then. So that's why there's some of them that there's the Zenith Daytona. They look almost identical except for two sub dials are swapped position wise. Okay. Otherwise, though, they look on the outside pretty much identical, same size and yeah. all that. They changed the clasp over time a couple times getting in just newer ones okay um yeah just an older daytona yeah i just i don't know much about daytona so they always kind of intimidate me a little um in the sense of like it's like you look at i look at you like 10 of them out on a table right and, they, all and the they all look exactly the same to me besides varying colors or metals but it's like oh this they're not like changing the case yeah, sizes they're yeah. not changing like bracelets yeah. and all sorts of stuff like it's just always looked pretty similar unless you're talking something like mm -hmm. Four digit, really old sixties yeah. kind of Newman crap. Then you're, or something yeah, then there. you're taught, then you're taught, then it's different. But like anything, any regular old Daytona though, it's going to be, they all look pretty similar on gotcha. the outside. But then it's just like, you know, it's like, okay, this one's 30,000, this one's it's more just about 6, materials this and 110,000. And I'm like, materials and colors. Understand. And then I think there was someone who once said, uh, I don't, don't quote me, maybe Carol Shelby, that no one should have a Daytona on their wrist unless they want a race at Daytona. So <laughs> I always, I guess that's where I'm well not exist of, at that point. Yeah, I guess that's the words I'm living by right now. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, awesome. I love it. Uh, I, the, the Elise Narden uh, uh, is probably my favorite of everything. What was the price on this Daytona? Like 17. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Can I try it on? Do you yeah, mind? Go All for right. it. I mean, it, what's tough for me is like, you know, at 10, you get a gold, a solid gold watch that looks yeah. 40. It's because you're, you're paying for the name Rolex. Yeah, for 17, you get, this is gold and stainless, right? Yeah. Okay. Like if you think about it, like just straight value wise materials, like you got a solid gold versus two tone. Yeah, but, and this, this but that's white, what, but that's a Rolex. That's why you know you're you wearing something solid gold around your Because at the end of the day, that's a Rolex. That's not a Rolex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what kind of what it comes down to. Correct. Correct. You know, um. But this just, uh, like to me, it looks like I put on my granddad's watch. That's my only, <laughs> that's my only problem. And again, I think that's where I, I that's what kills me a lot. In my and opinion, a lot of two-tone watches. stuff is kind of gives gives me that feeling. It's kind of like, eh. I don't love two-tone personally. Most things I'd rather just have steel or solid, gotcha. one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, if you don't mind me asking, how how often does your inventory? I mean, it's changing every week. I mean, I saw I saw like twenty five ish things a month normally okay. on average. Okay. So things are always coming in and out. Like tomorrow, I have a rose gold. Olive Dial Day Day coming in. Okay. Uh, I was like, I loved it. That was my, that, that was one of my, I felt like I made it when I got my first AP. Yep. And then, you know, then I moved on. I had a, my very first one was a vampire. So it was the black with the red. Yep. I think that's what the vampire. And then I had a panda. Um, and uh, I was like, I love the panda more. And, but it was just at the time, I'm making money on APs versus. It's like, if you're making money, it's like, you can always buy it again. It's and like, then, if you're yeah, making exactly. a lot of money, like. Every oh, ninety percent no of every deal watch deal I've ever met has had APs in stock. No, they've never been like, oh, you can't get these. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, I'll get them. And there's so many colors. Like I said, orange and black or volcano is the one. I, I think that's the next one cool. I want to get. So, but uh, yeah, no, I love it. I love it. I hope uh, I hope I didn't waste your time with my crap. It's cool seeing some of that stuff. You don't, you don't see that kind of stuff every day. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. If you ever want to see a storage unit with like seven hundred shoes, in. <laughs> I've got stuff you don't see every day because kids only want pandas. Yeah, I mean, I probably could sell them to be honest. <laughs> you could probably sling those things. How do you? I'm assuming. How are you buying pieces? Let me ask you that. I buy in a lot of different ways. So one, I would buy from other dealers, local, not local, okay. other countries in the U.S. All done through like group chats and things. Okay. I got a people that just local people or not people that are not local that want to trade stuff in or sell stuff. And then, uh, well, those are two main ways really, just buying from the public or buying from people like other dealers. Okay. The difference between me and a lot of other places is, it's just me. This is this is it. Like I don't have a huge store with. 50 employees and yeah. all this crazy overhead and everything to keep it running. Like, it's just me. Yeah. Like, well, your YouTube channel isn't you driving around in like a $500,000 hyper car <laughs> rolling into your building. Cause exactly. You know, you so first off, I want to give a huge thank you to you, Michael, for bringing by your collection and showing us some cool pieces. For everyone else out there, uh, make sure to leave us a comment below. What do you think of this video? Do you like this style? Do you like the vlogs better? Uh, do you want to see more some more collection videos? Uh, what kind of stuff you guys want to see? So as always, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for next week.